Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. When we left off, we got stars and meteors falling down, um, but now it's time to add the player. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our scene and we're going to create an empty game object. All right, and we're going to name this player. Not player game object, just player. All right, and we're going to tag this as player. Okay, so this is our player. Now we're going to add a component and we're going to add a sprite renderer. All right, the next thing we're going to add is a rigid body 2D. And last but not least, we're going to add a box collider 2D. Make sure these are 2D. Okay, I have created this spaceship, this little guy right here. Um, you can download it from my website, link in the description. But what we got to do to it first is we have to make it a sprite. So we're going to come up here, we're going to click on it, go to textures, and we're going to sprite 2D and UI. And just hit apply. And then it should look gray like this. And you should be able to click on this and see the ship. It should look like that. Go back to our player, go back to our inspector, and sprite, we're going to select our ship. You can also do this by dragging and clicking like so. So now we can see our ship in a 2D, or it's 2D, so as you can see it's like, ooh, it's like a piece of paper. Awesome. Uh, the next thing that we gotta do is, in our game, you'll notice it's super huge. So in our player, let's scale the size down to like 0.3 for the X and Y. Alright, so now we have a ship that's 0.3, can we see it? That looks good. Let's center it more, 0, 0, 0. And let's pull it forward like so. So let's just put Z to 1. So now if we hit play. Oh, you'll see our ship just fell. It fell out of nowhere. And that's because we have a rigged body attached to it. Leave everything the same on the rigged body except for gravity. Change that to 0. Alright. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is the on the box collider. Make sure it's set to is a trigger. And that's all you have to do for that. The next thing we're going to do is be creating a new script. This is a player script that controls the player. So right click, create new, C sharp script. Now the reason why I'm doing a C, C sharp script is C sharp can be used in creating a game for a mobile device. It can be used for a computer. It can be used for pretty much anything. And I personally prefer C sharp when I'm coding. So we're going to be doing this in C sharp. So we're just going to call this player, player underscore script. All right. Open it up in mono develop. Bring this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and type this up. I'll see you in a second. All righty, guys. So this is the script, the player script. Uh, we have the moving coordinates where it's allowed to go, the boundary. We've got the speed and some of the shots for this uh, for our ship. We've got um, the controls, and we've got what happens when it hits an enemy asteroid or an enemy shot. Um, this is all found on my website. Just link in the description down below. Go ahead and get that, download that, look at it, explore with it, yada yada yada. Once you have this, you're going to go back to your player and drag this onto your player. Now you'll see a whole bunch of options here. First thing we have to do is the speed of our ship. This is totally up to you guys. I'm going to do six for the sake of the tutorial. The X minimum, uh, make sure you set that to three. The Y max is three. Y min, negative 4.5. And the Y max is two. I'll show you guys what this does in a second. For right now, we're going to leave the shot, uh, shot spawn, fire rate, and explosion blank so when you hit play you now can move your ship back and forth but you can see it gets stopped on the corners I'm holding it down I cannot go past this barrier and that's what these do and you can change these and if for the sake of your game or what you want it also works down I can't go past this vice versa upwards so I've got this invisible boundary that my player must stay within and this is all thanks to the box collider and the player script 
and the rigged body. Um, so yeah. And just for the sake of the end of the video, go ahead and add an audio source onto it. We're not going to use it yet, but we will. Um, what are we? We have an error. What is this? Oh, we got tons of errors. Let's see what that was saying. Unexpect the variable spawn player underscore script. Oh, okay. Uh, this is giving us an error for the shot spawn. Um, and we can actually do that right now. Go ahead and add a empty game object. And just name it shot spawn. And drag it and put it into your player. Like so. We're then going to center this at 0, 0, 0. Right, so it's centered with our ship. And I'm going to bring it up so it's in the nose of our ship. This is where the bullet is going to come when we shoot when our, for our ship later. Then go back to our player and drag the shot spawn onto the shot spawn. And that should clear up the air. Um, now what's it saying? Alright, it's just going to give you a whole bunch of air for it's missing a shot and all this stuff. Um, we're going to be creating them later. So I don't really have an explosion animation or a sh physical shot, but um, you can really put anything in there if you wanted to. Any type of game object. Here, I'll show you. If I create a cube and just made this like the thing, right? It would um, it would it's like shooting the cubes, but the cubes don't have velocity, so they're just staying in space. Um, but you can kind of like draw with this. It's actually pretty cool. Make pictures and stuff. Alright guys, well that's all my time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Make sure you subscribe if you like to see these more often. And, uh, and make sure you subscribe to keep up with all the latest and greatest Unity tutorials. My name's Ryan. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.